Ja, das hört sich an wie ein Shuttle-Laufwerksystem. Möglicherweise, aber das ist äh, schwer zu wissen, natürlich, über das Telefon. Ja. <lacht> naja. Okay. Gut. Ja, äh, ich bin nicht weit weg. Äh, ich kann also so in der nächsten Stunde darüber kommen, wenn Sie wollen. Ja? Okay. Ich bedanke mich noch recht herzlich. Ja, danke schön. Tschüss. Well, um, I'm in the south part of Germany, in uh, Franconia, part of Bavaria. Someone's seen the show, uh, and they have found something quite extraordinary within the very lower parts of an old cellar within their building, an old uh, blacksmith of the village, in fact. Um, so I'm going to have a look at that, uh, see what it is. And uh, it is from World War II, so you never know what one finds in these old cellars in Germany. Um, back from the World War II era. I'm very excited and uh, well, let's go and have a look. I'm only half an hour away. Deutscher Panzer, Panzer 1, das sind Panzer 1. Das sind die leichten Panzer, die ein äh, Maschinengewehr hatten. Das waren die allererst eingesetzten Panzer im ersten Weltkrieg. Oh, boah. Oh. Naja. Hier sind die Coal Reserves, leading to the Blacksmiths Workshop above. Da ist die Blacksmithery. And here, hidden in the cellar, was well, having had a look at these um, tank wheels, we can see there's a couple of uh, type one. Type 2 Panzer wheels, and there's some very large ones. They're about 800 millimeter diameter with a vulcanized rubber edge. So they're either Tiger 1, early Tiger 1, or they could even be Panthers. Now let's have a think about that. It's World War II, it's 1945, and these tanks are being used as part of the final resistance. So we've got uh, National Socialists fighting for their lives, being attacked from all sides, uh, Russians in the east, in the west we've got, you know, Canadians, Americans, English, um, French, whole range of allied forces, all heading one way, Berlin. And these are the final forces of resistance. Young boys, um, some extraordinarily young. The ones that were fighting in these Panzer divisions would have been their early 20s. And they would have known nothing else but National Socialism. So they would have been fighting for all of the ideals of National Socialism, for their Führer, for their Vaterland, for the, uh, what they believed was the fighting for their race, for the German way of living. And um, they were quite ready to die, even though they were so young, for their cause. And uh, the combination of that fervor, of that zeal, of the, that determination, and the best available technology of the time made them a formidable fighting force. So, and that's my name, you can also have another person. Ah, 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 Now, it may also be that rather than a Tiger 1, that these belong to a Panther tank. Either way, two formidable tanks. Now, the, the Panther tank uh, was more of a, a medium tank in the uh, Wehrmacht. Um, much smaller cannon, although later it was equipped with an 88 millimeter. Um, light, nimble, flexible, 
uh, very successful tank of the war. Some say probably the most successful because it struck the balance between a heavy, uh, heavy armoured, uh, powerful cannon uh, tank uh, and a light, manoeuvrable, flexible tank. So the Panther, by many, has been voted uh, the most successful, most versatile tank uh, or panzer of World War II. Some 6,000 Panthers were built in World War II. Now this uh, doesn't compare to the uh, over 50,000 Russian T-34s that were built or the, the other 50,000 um, Sherman tanks. But it's uh, a lot more than 1,300 Tiger Ones. Uh, they were much cheaper to build than the Tiger. Um, they didn't have the same armaments, they didn't have the same level of armor, they didn't have you know, all the bells and whistles. But they were good, medium-sized tank, very flexible, and uh, pride of the German Wehrmacht. So if these are Panther wheels, it's a great find. Now these wheels haven't seen a lot of day in over 70 years. They've been submerged in water of a blacksmith's coal cellar for all that time. So it's time to bring them up to sunlight to have a look at them.